case. But we want to go to some breaking news right now. And Tom Costello, where there's a history about to be made, the new Orion spacecraft about to be launched. Tom, good morning. What can you tell us? Five. We're launching right now. This is Orion lifting Two, off from the pad one. here at the Kennedy Space Center. This is an and unmanned off. test of this brand new dawn, vehicle lifting off. Of Let's listen in. A new era of American space exploration. Good engine control in the first stage. Passing 25 seconds. Velocity 1,341 feet per second. Passing 31 seconds, still looking good. Good engine control. Good chamber pressure in all three boosters in the full power mode. Tom, let me bring you in here as we watch this and, uh, and marvel again at what human engineering is able to accomplish. Tell us what the hopes are for this spacecraft eventually. This is a, a, a brand new era for NASA. You're going to watch this mission today accelerate. Look at that shot. That's amazing. Accelerating to 17,000 miles per hour. The idea here is that this is the next uh, turning the page for NASA, the next page for NASA. They are going beyond low Earth orbit, beyond the space shuttle, and eventually this is the vehicle they hope will bring astronauts perhaps to the moon, to an asteroid, or even Mars. That could be 15, 20 years away or so. This vehicle looks an awful lot like Apollo, you'll recall from 40 years ago. And in fact, that's essentially what's going to happen today. This mission is going to see Orion lift off to 3,600 miles altitude. It's going to orbit the Earth twice, then come back to Earth, plunging into the Pacific Ocean, much as Apollo did. And the images are spectacular. Hey, Tom, how long is that supposed to take, that whole process? This, this entire mission is four and a half minutes, and listen to this. Uh, when it finally begins the re-entry, it'll be at 20,000 miles per hour, and when it comes through the Earth's atmosphere, it will, ex it will see the heat shield come up to 4,000 degrees. Then it plunges into the Pacific, and so it goes from 20,000 miles per hour down to 20 miles per hour. But, you know, the telemetry here is unbelievable. The images are unbelievable. Uh, we have never seen these types of images. One important note, the space shuttle orbits at 250 miles above the Earth. They're going to 3,600 miles above the Earth. Wow. wow. Something to marvel at this morning. Cool. Tom Costello, thanks for being there and bring it to us live.